So our group is basically presenting on the catalytic hydrogenations of alkenes. There are four important things to remember when doing this type of reaction. First and all, it's a reduction reaction, which basically means that hydrogen is being added across the double bonds to form an alkane. In this case, in order to get this reaction to occur, you need some sort of effective catalyst in the form of platinum, palladium, or nickel. And because the hydrogens add from a solid surface, they add by a syn stereochemistry, something that's really important. An example we're going to do is 1,2-dimethyl cyclohexene. So I should draw out the structure with the appropriate methyl groups. And in a solution like this, often in a solvent that involves alcohol, you have hydrogens. These hydrogens attacked by a syn stereochemistry to give you, with hydrogen and platinum in the solvent, one, two, dimethyl cyclohexane, with hydrogens being added by a syn stereochemistry. We are presenting catalytic hydrogenation from an alkene at a frat party. There's two freshman bros that are going to the first college party, and each bro represents a carbon while their arms represent the double bonds. Now, as you know, your first college party can be very awkward and terrifying because they don't know anyone. In order to get the party started, the guys need some sort of catalyst to loosen up. In this example, it's going to be two girls from their freshman section that they met earlier. In the reaction, it can be platinum, palladium, or nickel. The girls represent the catalyst, and the red cups are the hydrogen atoms. As the girls chat, they hand the red cups to the guys, and the guys begin to feel more comfortable and break one of their hands apart. In the reaction, the catalyst adds two hydrogen atoms in syn addition, one to each carbon, and the double bond breaks into a single bond. Then, in this case, the catalysts get bored and leave. In the reaction, the catalyst also leaves. And this is catalytic hydrogenations of alkynes. It's essentially like an alkene in that it's a reduction reaction, but unlike alkenes, it's a two-step mechanism that forms an alkene as an intermediate. In an alkyne reaction, we have four hydrogens that are being added across the triple bonds in two consecutive steps via some sort of effective catalyst such as platinum, palladium, or nickel. And we have something called Lindlar's catalyst, which is a palladium poison that stops the transition at an alkene itself. So to start off with, we have something like 2-butyne, in which we're adding hydrogen and platinum across the triple bond to give us an intermediate alkene. From there, we do a second step in which we add two more hydrogens and some other catalysts, such as palladium, to give us our butane. I'm so boring. This is the finished step, but in case you had Lindlar's catalyst, you could stop it at the alkene.